Man, I don't know, man. It's, man, this, if I can make it, if I don't make it down, I'll say to you, man, you please tell my mom and daddy I love it. Like, you know, for him to say something like that, he must have felt something. He says his son is 6'5 and 340 pounds. But this one particular ride decided, yeah, we can take you. Come on, get on. You know, when nobody else allowed him to get on the rides. So I wonder what happened between now and then when made him say, come on, you can get on this ride. He says they should have stopped the ride and I got some sad news. You see that boy on the screen. Rest in peace. He is gone. He is gone, y'all. It is so sad. Oh, my God. My spirit was bothering me about the story, so I had to let you guys know what's going on. This happened in Orlando, and uh, it's all over the news, child, all over the news. We're going to look at the news coverage about this 14-year-old boy, and he should not be gone, you know? Um, so let me tell you what happened. Uh, they say he's real tall, six something, and you know, he got some pounds on him. He's 14 years old. He went to the theme park, wanted to get on a ride. Nobody would not let him on because you have to have a certain height and weight uh, requirement to get on these rides. So he goes to this ride. I don't know what name it is. It goes, it shoots you up and it shoots you down. And I guess the person was trying to be cool. And that's why it's important to follow the rules. He was trying to be cool. He said, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Girl. He got on that ride. It shot up. And he looked over his friend. And he said, I, I don't feel right. Something loose. And he said, please tell my mama and my daddy I love them. Girl, the video all over the internet. I ain't going to play it here, but it's, uh, it's out there. You know, all you got to do is Google it. That's what I did. As the ride goes down, it's dropping down. Why? You see his body drop out the roller coaster and fall. You hear it too. You hear it hit right on the cement, girl. All you hear is screaming and hollering. Child, it's all on the internet. Some people feel like it's a sacrifice. You know how people is. Some people say, oh, my goodness, how everybody was screaming. And then they heard some laughs. I don't know what people was laughing about. They said it sounded like demons in the video. I don't know, child. But um, his father and his family is speaking out. And I want to know what y'all think about this. Oh, the tallest freestanding drop tower in the world at 430 feet tall. It can hold 30 riders at once. When they get to the top of the tower, riders are tilted forward 30 degrees toward the ground. Then they free fall nearly 400 feet, reaching speeds of 75 miles per hour. Now take a look at this. This is video from the day the ride opened. This was in late December. You can see employees there were going around to each rider and tugging on the harness to make sure the riders were locked in before they were hoisted into the air. Here's a photo of the teenager who died. Tyree Sampson was visiting Orlando with his family. They are from Missouri. Sheriff says it's unclear how Sampson fell out of his seat. A spokesperson for the ride says it's programmed to not go unless all riders are locked in. But definitely still in shock uh, that it happened. Ivan says Thursday was supposed to be a regular night out on the town with his friends. They decided to try out the new free fall ride at Icon Park. 430 feet. That's Coming down, 75 miles per hour. Let's go. Ivan says he had his cell phone out to record his friend's reaction after the drop, not even realizing what his video ended up capturing. We're freezing the video here, choosing not to show the moment 14-year-old Tyree Sampson falls. When I heard that he was 14 years old, my heart sank. I literally, I'm heartbroken about it. Ivan says his friends were just two seats away from Tyree. This could have been one of my friends that it happened to. It's not what you would expect from a, a ride in the heart of Orlando. You know, it, we're known for our amusement parks for our, our thrill rides. It's still under investigation how the boy fell, according to the sheriff's office. Were there any red flags? Right from the beginning. In Ivan's video, you can see one of his friends question the ride restraints. Let's Why does it have like the little clicky click? Like the seatbelt. Yeah. They were asking if they had that additional seatbelt. Uh, you know, in most rides, you have your harness that pulls down on you, but you also have the additional secondary seat build. But this doesn't have that. This does not have that. Mm. It's really concerning. 
especially being a brand new ride, not to have that. It was concerning to me and me not even being on the ride, it was extremely concerning. About 30 seconds after Tyree falls, ride employees ask each other about the harness. Ivan says his prayers go out to Tyree's family. The reason why I posted the video is to highlight those safety concerns. I really hope that uh, the company takes a step back and kind of assesses the issue and really takes a second look at safety procedures. In Orlando, 